I've been asked a lot how you actually go about exporting a 360 video so it displays as a 360 video where you can pan and swipe around and just move the frame around on your phone or your desktop whatever you're looking at it on in YouTube so having that 360 video on YouTube so I'm going to show you how to do that with the Insta360 Studio app on desktop. Once you've figured out where you want the video to start and end, you can add your in and out points so that you can get rid of the bits at the very start and the very end of the video, usually where you've extended the invisible selfie stick and then collapsed it. So after you've added the in and out points, just hit export and then change the name of your file. Then make sure that you select export 360 video as the other option is going to export it as a normal flat video and that's not what you want at this point. Then choose the file location as normal and then your encoding format. So if you're not quite done and you want to import the footage into say Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro because you want to link several 360 clips together, then I choose ProRes 422 so that you can get the highest quality file to work with in those editing programs. Otherwise, H.265 or H.264 is going to be fine. H.265 is going to give you a smaller file size with better compression and no loss in quality in comparison to H.264. So once it's finished exporting, just hop on over to YouTube and select to upload a video like you usually would. Then just find the 360 video that you just exported, hit upload, and it'll start uploading like a regular video. So you just add your title, description, your thumbnail, the tags, everything that you would do for a normal video. There's nothing different that you need to do for this 360 video. So once it's finished uploading and processing and then you've set it to public or unlisted or however you want to show it, then it'll show up on your home screen and it'll have a little 360 label next to it so people will know that it's a 360 video. And then when you go onto the video to look at it, you can basically do the whole moving around and if you're on your phone then you can just move your phone around and it'll show you what you're looking at as you move it in the 3D space. So yeah, that's literally all you have to do. I've put a link to the 360 video that I just exported so that you can actually see how it works and that's in the description so check it out and there is a video that I just did also about how to actually use the 360 Studio app in its entirety so not just exporting the 360 video so just going through a full overview of how that um, Insta360 Studio desktop app works so there's a link to that in the description as well if you found this video useful do give it a like and i'll catch you guys on the next video